Well, today I want to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm giving you a sneak peek of another wool garment from Primitive Spirit, Gail Anderson. I'll be doing a review of this awesome setup here in the near future. Look at that, this hood's so big it gives me, it's like a windshield sun visor type thing. It's awesome. I've got this shirt. I got a merino wool shirt. I got some mittens. Look at these flipping mittens. These things. Awesome, okay? I got some mittens. And I got this awesome hat. Another hat just like the other two that I have. So, I'll definitely be doing a review on these. Check this out. I'll get a little better view, but look, pocket. Awesome huge hood that I can wear while I've got my hat on. Fair bowl woolen mills. It's a blanket. Quite possibly this is the favorite shirt, my favorite shirt I've ever owned. Anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. It's just, uh, I just wanted to do a real quick look at it, so to speak. But today's video, I want to talk about thrift store finds or, you know, bushcraft on a budget. I've gone through a few of these before already. I've found some good items at thrift stores before. Good uh, wool flannels. I've found a Pendleton shirt in thrift stores. I've found um, a, a couple of Hudson Bay blankets. Just a lot of things. But, what am I up against here? But what I wanted to go over today is cooking pots. It's that little bitty. Um, that's that little bitty widow maker behind me making noise on the aspen tree. What I want to go over today is a cooking pot that I found. Check this out. Okay, it's got grass coming out the top because I'm going to make a tinder bundle out of that and make a cup of hot chocolate with this nice little container here. This is an ice bucket. It's got a piece of leather around the outside that I'll be getting rid of. And whether that's real leather or not, I'm not sure, but whatever. On New Year's Day, there is a chain of thrift stores around me that, depending on the color of the tag, you get a certain amount of money off. This one was $3.50 and then 75% off of that. So for a couple of bucks, I've got a stainless steel cooking pot here. And it looks to me, just looking at, I haven't even looked at this thing, to be honest with you. I bought it and then put it in my gear or, and then that's it. This handle has threads looks like you can take this handle off. Trying to get some of the snow out of there. And there it goes, right in the snow. But that handle pops off. I just want to double check this, make sure there's no like plastic parts that are going to melt. This all looks steel to me. That's pretty crazy. I didn't know that that handle came off like that. We'll see if it works. Now inside of this too, the lid doesn't fit perfect, but I mean for freaking two bucks, man. Um, there was also something that came inside of it. It's uh, a drink strainer, I guess. You put it like you should do your shaker and then you put it over the top of your cup and then you can strain it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for, but it came included with it. All right, let me get a let me get a fire going. We'll have a cup of hot chocolate and see if this pot even will boil water. See if it melts or falls apart. It shouldn't. It should be food grade stainless, but we'll see. All right. Well, the first thing I want to do with this pot is I want to get rid of this piece of leather. Like I said, whether it's real leather or not, I don't really care. I'm not gonna do anything with it. This comes right off. Actually, a lot easier than I thought it would. Yeah, some sort of vinyl or something. Not a big deal. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is get a fire started.
All right, well now I got my fire going. I'm gonna measure a piece of string. I always carry a piece of cordage in my pocket. I'm going to guess because the pot's moving around by itself that it's at a boil right now. And it's close, really close. Now I'm not going to lie to you, there are a couple of quirks to this. You got to make sure you put it, the lid kind of wants to fit only on one, one way on it. I don't need to have the lid actually on it right now at all, um, forced down. I mean, it's good to have the lid on it, but I don't need to force it down right now. I'm just going to try to get this fire to kind of kick up some flames, get it the last little bit to where it needs to be. We'll have a little hot chocolate out of it. Looks like everything's burning correctly. Um, I just mean that, you know, nothing's falling, nothing's falling apart. Um, you know, just checking it out. I mean, it's a thrift store find. That's a lot of water in there. <laughs> I don't really need that much water. The handle's nice and cool to the touch. Grab this stick and pour some of the water out. That's probably good for a cup of hot chocolate. There's nothing wrong with this pot at all. It's a little bit bent, and if I was, you know, worried about it because the lid doesn't fit on perfect, I could re-bend this out, and then the lid would fit a lot better. It looks to me like this has a this does have a stud on it. So if I had like a flipping bale type system somewhere, if I found one, or if I, you know, found one in the hardware store or something, I could modify that so that I could use a stick to lift the lid up instead of having to grab a hold of it. It is thicker than your normal stainless steel pot, therefore it's going to be heavier, but it's going to be more durable as well. Why, I mean, what's the moral of the video, basically? So here's, the, here's my deal. I've seen a lot of folks in the few, last few years post about what, basically what they're trying to do is get away with the cheapest knife they possibly can but they want it to be like an awesome knife, which is totally understandable. I mean, we're all on a budget. If there's one thing to spend your money on though, it's gonna be your tools, okay? Whether it be your ax, your knife, something like that, okay? So I know some folks that only carry Leatherman, um, a, a multi-tool when they go out to the woods. Spend your money on stuff like that. The pot, the spoon, you know, um, some of your gear you want to spend money on, you know, like I, like I said, my, the hatchet. Um, but if you're, if you're truly on a, on a really tight budget, save your money and spend it on your knife. This, you know, we all know, I love my stainless steel pot that I got from the Pathfinder store. It's like, what is it? 40, 50 bucks. Okay. If I spend... 
a tenth of that, not even a tenth of that, on a pot like this, I've got a lot of money left over to go towards a good knife or go towards a good, a good hatchet. Now, I'm not saying it has to be a $300 knife, but I see a lot of people posting about a $50 knife. And that's great. There are $50 knives out there that will work for you. But I mean, if you really want to spend money on something, spend it on your tools. Don't worry about your, your some of your accessories, like your pot, you know, stuff like that. You can get away from stuff, from s spending money on some of these things. But if there's something that you have to skimp on or something that you need to, you know, do without in order to purchase that good cutting tool, that's that's where I would spend my money is on a good cutting tool first and and it, you know if you need to use this for a little bit use this for a little bit until the next time you can upgrade this this isn't as important as your knife and your axe and some of the other things I know I love my clothes I love my my good wool stuff but I can even find some of that stuff in the thrift store I found awesome sweaters I found a lot of stuff there you're not going to find a knife there. It's going to be really difficult to find a good knife at a thrift store. You're just not, maybe an old, uh, if you get really lucky, an old hickory or something like that. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to get out here in the woods and, and show you guys my, my thrift store find. Play with my, I've got a knockoff of a GoPro that I was kind of playing with a little bit. So anyway, just fun to get out here and have a nice cup of hot chocolate. It's beautiful out today. So hope you guys have a happy new year and, uh, Take care.